What's up, Cal gang? Welcome back to some physics. So let's solve this problem. So we have this wheel here with a radius, and it has these three forces acting on it. And I just now realized I forgot to draw the forces on there. So we got 11.9. We got 14.6. These are all in newtons. And this is 8.5 newtons. And now we want to find the net torque due to these three forces on the wheel. Right, so what is torque? Torque is force times distance. And if it acts at an angle, it's going to be a little different too. So the equation is force times distance times sine of theta. So when we're going to find the net torque, we need to sum up all of the torques on the wheel. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's start with this first torque here. So the force is 11.9 newtons, right? Newtons means it's a force. The distance to that force, right? If you want to find the distance, we're going to start at the origin. All right, we're taking the torque around the origin here. So we're going to draw a line from the origin to that point. So this is our radius, which is just going to be the radius of the circle, which is 0.35 meters. And then sine of theta. So what's that theta going to be? Well, theta is the distance between the radius, or it's the angle between the radius and the force vector. So if we were to expand this, right? Now, which way is the force pointing? Well, it's pointing straight down. So it's going to be 180 degrees to go from beyond to here. Right, so that's generally how we're going to do it. We're going to go past the radius, and then we're going to draw a line to where the force is pointing. So this point is pointing straight into the center of the circle, which is 180 degrees from where the radius is pointing to where the line is pointing. So we're going to put in 180 degrees here. Now if you've taken uh, you know, all the geometry and stuff, you know that sine of 180 is equal to zero. So what we're saying here is that all of this torque is equal to zero. So the torque due to this force is equal to zero. And that makes sense, right? We're pushing directly into the origin of it. If you push directly into the center of mass of something, it's not gonna rotate. So similarly, we're not applying any torque because we're pushing 180 degrees downward. So let's do the next force. So that one, the force of it is 14.6. The radius again is the same radius, 0 0.350. And sine of theta. So now we need to find out what this theta is gonna be. So we're tempted to say, oh, we have 40 degrees here. But this theta that we're looking for is not exactly 40 degrees. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw your radius out from the origin. Then we're gonna go past the, where that force is acting. And we wanna go counterclockwise. So we wanna go counterclockwise until we reach that force. So this time the force is not 40 degrees, but 360 minus 40. Now you could also say negative 40 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and say negative 40 degrees. Uh, because sine of, this would be 320 degrees. Sine of 320 is the same as sine of negative 40. So yeah, to basically, because the force is counter, or it's clockwise to where the radius is, it's gonna be negative. So let's go on to our final one here. So this one is going out this way, so it has the same radius. Now the force, we have its tip pointing here, but what we really wanna do is find where it's pointing to. So this vector is pointing upward. So from the radius extended to there is gonna be 90 degrees. So 90 degrees is what we're gonna use for the last one. So we're gonna add this. So 8.5 times the radius, 0 0.35 sine of 90. So sine of 90 is just equal to one. So we don't have to worry about that. Sine of negative 40 gives you a negative ratio. And let's, take, let's analyze that before we do the answer. So if, if the force is making us rotate clockwise, it's gonna be negative. So we can look at this 14.6 kilonewton force, it's kind of making us wanna rotate clockwise. And because clockwise is negative, it's gonna give us a negative torque. That being said, this 8.5 newton force is at a 90 degree angle and it's pushing us counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is a positive value, so this is gonna be a positive number. So we're subtracting this from this, basically. We're subtracting the top one from the bottom one. And actually, I have the answer right here. It's going to be equal to negative 0 0.310 newton meters. So some of the torque is equal to negative 0 0.310 newton meters. So that's the net torque acting in our system. It's negative, so that means that we're going to be rotating this way. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Check out my playlist for a little bit more problems like this, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.